What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And today's morning video is going to be your Cassie Mendoza weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, January 12th. But in order to do the Cassie Mendoza weekly vendor reset, we have to find the snitch. So just like every single week when I do this video, I want you to put down in the comment section below where you have found the snitch because it is different for everyone. Like for me personally, he does seem to spawn a lot at the 1040 safe house, but that is just for this character. On my other character, he normally spawns around the mast control point. And then on my third character, he actually spawns like up here in the west end for some reason. They, they all spawn in different locations depending on your character. And if you log out, log back in, all of that jazz, he does move as well. So, long story short, let everyone know in the comment section below where you have found the snitch. Because if you cannot find them, just look in the comment section. Maybe there's a location you haven't tried out yet and you can find them. Because Cassie Mendoza does open and close her vendor every other day. So you can see right here with me making this video, she is only open for another 16 hours and then she's closed for like a day, day and a half, whatever it is. I wish uh, she didn't open and close like this, but it's the way she was developed. But all right, so for me personally, the snitch and my location, uh, 1410 by 3627. Again, it was just south of the 1040 safe house. And then once you find the snitch, you can abort that bounty. That way you can keep it. You can see my long list of bounties. And then you look in your map and you find her vendor, which is the white shopping cart icon. Now for me, I can fast travel to the classified assignment over here. But if not, you might have to go to like a safe house. All right, let's run over to her vendor. So in this location, she's going to be actually like under a house, like in the basement. Um, and it's also a location for a side mission. So if you haven't already picked it up, you can uh, kill two birds with one stone here. Now, don't forget. Ooh, I can hear the chain guy from the underground. Wow, th that's the underground boss. What? What are the odds the underground boss? Mm. Got that heroic open world on lock. All right, so here's the entrance to Cassie's location. Go down the stairs. This is a safe area, so no weapons or any of that. You're not going to get hurt. And then you can pick up a side mission right here. Um, and I believe another one right here. But all right, it is all about Cassie Mendoza. So here we go. You can timestamp it. Here is her weekly vendor reset. So the way her inventory is set up, she has the named items up top, followed by the gear set items, and then the high-end items. Now, for any average Joe that just logs into the game, she will only have these top two named items. Reason being is you have to unlock these bottom two, but once you unlock them, she will have them every single week. So the only two named items that change are the top two every week. Now to get the shield splinter unlocked, you need to hunt down and eliminate all of the year one hunters and open up the ivory box that is in the base of ops. Now to get the hunter killer chest piece unlocked, you need to hunt down and eliminate all of the warlords of New York hunters, open up the off white box at the Haven, and then this one will be unlocked as well. But all right, let's start off at the top. Um, so we have the, oh man, I'm gonna butcher this, uh, Mozambique special. I, I don't know if I said it right, Mozambique? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I said that right. So anyways, we have the Mozambique special. This is the named pistol with perfect bread basket. Also comes with crit chance. Followed by the chain killer. This is the named Walker Harris chest piece with perfect headhunter. 
Um, it already comes with crit chance. So if you needed this one, you could easily pick this one up and reroll the repair skills off for headshot damage. And then this would pretty much complete it, just uh, fully optimize it, of course. Then, like we've already said how to get it, well now here it is. The Shield Splinterer, this is the named F2000 with Perfect Optimist, and it comes with crit damage. And then finally, the Hunter Killer chest piece. This is my favorite chess piece in the game, with Perfect Intimidate. Now remember, Perfect Intimidate is amplified damage, and it is the same in PvP and PvE. Now this one comes with crit damage and headshot damage. This is a good one to pick up, especially if you want to run it with an all red SMG build where you don't have to worry about crit chance and you can just stack crit damage and headshot damage. Um, but yeah, that's not horrible. Now let's go to the gear set items. Hunter's Fury backpack with decent weapon damage and headshot damage as the bottom attribute. Now that decent weapon damage makes it to where you could pick this one up, reroll the headshot damage for whatever it is you want, and then maybe optimize the weapon damage once or twice to max it out and you should be good to go. Then we have a True Patriot chest piece with crit damage. Dang, that's not horrible. Followed by Striker Gloves with skill damage. Nice, so for all of you that like to run the Striker with all skill damage this is a good one to pick up as well that's not bad then we have tip of the spear knee pads with near max repair skills interesting followed by foundry holster with skill damage and then a eclipse protocol mask with skill damage all right um and then let's go to the high-end items we have a CTAR with damage to targets out of cover and perpetuation, followed by a 612 with headshot damage and breadbasket, a Sokolov chest piece with a Vanguard, crit chance, and explosive resistance, and then finally a Raldi holster with crit chance and headshot damage. That's good. That's a good pickup for a sniper build or a max damage to armor build. That's a good pickup. And then the two mods, we have a crit damage, 10.3, and pulse radius, 8.9. Now, must buys, things to look at from Cassie Mendoza. Starting off with the named items, the Hunter Killer chess piece would be my uh, one pickup for this week, or the Chain Killer. But remember, with the Chain Killer, you need to roll the repair off for headshot damage, and then you're going to have to optimize the weapon damage and crit chance. Where the Hunter Killer, you could basically just re-roll the core attribute, max it out, and then optimize the other two bottom attributes. Now, as far as the gear items, things to look at, or must-buys, the Hunter's Fury backpack isn't bad. The True Patriot chest piece isn't bad. The Striker's gloves are pretty nice. And if you need Eclipse Protocol, you have a mask there with skill damage. Now, as far as the high-end items go, things to look at. The Araldi holster is not bad at all. Take a look at that. And then the Sokolov, if you like running Vanguard, you could easily just re-roll the Explosive Resistance on here for crit damage. And this could be a nice little, like, shield, whatever, Sokolov chest. I'm not a big shield guy or a vanguard guy, but if I were, I'd go down that route. But all right, that is your Cassie Mendoza weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, January 12th. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget, hit that like, support the channel by subscribing, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. And uh, yeah, make sure you have your notifications on because we are doing multiple videos every day during the week. But all right, everyone, Kamikaze Von Doom here, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Hi there. Hi there.